Hello and welcome to another beautiful day in Sofia Kamau's kitchen. Today I'm going to make a soup to make me happy because it is really gloomy outside but I have to keep myself happy. I have broccolis here and that's what I'm gonna make. My second favorite soup is broccoli soup. I made a video of chicken soup, that's my first and favorite soup and the next one is broccoli. So I have all the ingredients here I will go through them. First, I have two bunches of broccoli florets. I will use a two tablespoon of canola oil. I have one tablespoon of all-purpose flour as a thickening agent. I have one cube I will use for my soup base. It's a chicken. And then I have three cloves of garlic. I will start with a half teaspoon of black pepper one median onion i will have uh, one cup of whole milk i will use two tablespoons of butter salted butter and i will also use salt but i will adjust according to test because the butter is salted and the chicken bouillon cube is salted i also have some water and water also I will put according to how thick or how runny I want my soup to be. To start, I will uh, turn on my stove on medium heat and then I will put two tablespoons of oil to start heating. Then I will start chopping my onion. I'll just chop it um, good size slices. Then I can slice this to small uh, bits. I don't have to worry too much because at the end I will go and blend them with a food processor to uh, puree my soup. So that one is good too. And then with the florets here, I will use the stems too, but not too much, just like that much. Uh, this one because they are soft not too hard i can use like that and just break them apart and here i'll do the same and then i'll just use these ones here next my oil is heated and i'll have to throw the onions Cook them a little bit, make them sweat. So my onions have sweat a little bit. Now I'm going to add the garlic and cook it a little bit uh, longer for like one minute. The next thing I will throw in my broccolis and then add water. So I have added three cups for now and now I will uh, put a little salt just a little bit really tiny like this is like half a teaspoon because I don't want to, to spoil my uh, stew, uh, soup here with too much salt have a teaspoon there and then I will add the chicken uh, cube I will put there and then they have a teaspoon of salt. I will let this cover and uh, bring to a boil. So after the water came to a boil, I let the broccolis uh, cook until the stems are uh, already soft. So it is time for me to turn off my stove and uh, take it aside here so that it can cool down before I put it into a food processor. My soup has cooled a little bit that I won't be in a danger of burning myself. So I'll plug in my food processor over here. And then now I will empty the contents 
I'll have to bring this out first. And this is the chopping blade that I will use. It really uh, blends it very well. So I'll put that and uh, pour my everything into the food processor because I don't have a lot. So it's not gonna be filling it too much and uh, this will be perfect. So empty everything in here and then I will blend. Lock it in and then my blender is set to go and hold here tight so nothing jumps out, okay? And that's good, it's all done. So before I take this out, I will now have to do the butter now and I'm using this two tablespoons of butter. That is the two tablespoons of butter I'm going to use and turn on my stove and wait for it to melt. As my butter has melted, now I have to add the one tablespoon of uh, flour and just stir it around and this is what will thicken my soup. I just have to make sure everything is uh, uh, blended well and before it starts burning I will add the milk here. That is one cup of milk and mix everything together. So I'll keep stirring this and making sure nothing sticks to the bottom because this is a whole milk. Sometimes it will burn if you're not stirring. Then I feel like everything has combined well. Now I will add my soup. So I'll just remove this, not to be in a danger of it falling into the uh, stove or into the pot, I mean. Then I will just pour everything in. Stir everything. And look how that looks really nice and it smells really good. So here I have to see and adjust the salt, the thickness of the uh, soup and also if you needed to add like black pepper or chili, whatever makes you um, enjoy your soup, then you add at this moment. Mm, mine is really good. I might need to adjust the salt a little bit, but for those who don't take much salt, this would be perfect. So I will rinse this. Another half cup of water and try and rinse everything from this pot to have uh, to add into my pot from the blender. So I'll keep stirring this and bring this back to a boil and then we see how it uh, looks. Now after putting everything back into the pot, I had to let it uh, come to a boil and then reduce to simmer. It's been simmering for five minutes and I am happy with everything. The taste of it is amazing. So it's time for me to serve. I have my plate here ready and I will be serving. Ooh, that is so amazing. Now, do you see how easy that was? It is bam, 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 and it is ready for you to enjoy. So I'm gonna enjoy this. In the beginning, I use 
to buy the packaged one and then just add water and milk and it is done and i'm like you know what i think buying the fresh ingredients is good for me and then i will serve more people that way than that small package i have to buy many and it's very expensive so keep on trying like me i'm adventurous with my foods anything i want i can try and make it so go ahead try this recipe very easy i made it light by using milk and not the heavy cream and again you adjust you can add or minus other ingredients as you wish but this is exactly the way i like it please remember to like subscribe and share until we see you with another exciting video bye